Hi, I'm Dave Fox with Globejotting.com with a quick sneak preview of my online video course that teaches you how to become an amazing travel writer. One of the most uh, important skills you can have as a travel writer uh, has nothing to do with writing. It has everything to do with just getting out and meeting incredible people when you travel and coming into their world. This is very hard for some people. We uh, tend to be a little bit shy when we are out of our cultural elements. So in this uh, seven minute lesson, I talk about how you can break the ice and how you can get into uh, richer, deeper cultural experiences, uh, even if you are kind of a shy person. It's a, a lesson that I think uh, people will find helpful, even if they're not interested in becoming a travel writer, uh, just because it'll give you richer travels. So anyway, uh, the entire course is more than three hours of video content. If you would like to know more and to find some special discount coupons, you can go to my website, www.globejotting.com slash classes. And now here is your free lesson, story finding and the art of talking to strangers. You can be a phenomenal writer, but in order to be a successful travel writer, you have to not only be a great storyteller, you also have to be a great story finder. And one of the best ways that you will find unique stories, original stories, stories that bring you deeper into experiences that are exciting for other people to read about, is to get out there and meet as many people as possible. Now, for some people this comes naturally, other people I know are gonna be watching this video going, oh man, I'm screwed, this is just not me. I'm not an, in I'm not an extrovert, I don't just go out there and meet people. Uh, if you're in that second group, if you're a little bit on the shy side, I totally understand that. I can be that way myself at times. I love talking to people, but I feel awkward starting conversations. Well, I will tell you this, if you want to really get into some rich travel experiences, you need to push yourself a little bit and try to be more of an extrovert than you might be totally comfortable with. Now, here are some tips to make this easier. First of all, when you meet people, it is amazing what your body language gives off. And if you are smiling, you are a much more approachable person. I often do this. I let people come to me. I'll just hang out. And if they're doing something kind of interesting and I'm watching them, instead of standing there shoving my camera in their face without talking to them at all, which is what I see a lot of tourists doing, I'll just hang out and watch and I'll smile and I will let them see that I'm interested in what they're doing. And eventually I get invited to join them. Now, once you've made some initial contact with somebody, uh, whether it's just through smiling or just going up to them and saying, hey, how's it going? You know, you might, you can do this. It's great if you're sitting in a pub or a coffee shop or any kind of sort of a community gathering spot. If you're sitting there by yourself or even with someone else, um, just say, hey, what's up? You know, nod a little bit, give them a little wave. They won't always respond positively, but sometimes they'll start chatting with you. Keep in mind that when you are a foreigner, when you are an outsider in a foreign place, and I'm not necessarily talking foreign countries here, just a place where you're out of your element, you are interesting to other people. They are as interested in you as you are in them. Not everybody's going to be, but some of them will be. And being open to meeting people really will make a difference in your travels. Ask them questions about themselves and don't be shy about even taking it a step further in asking about their lives. Ask if you can experience the way they live. Here's a quick example. I was in Siem Reap in Cambodia. It is the most touristed place in Cambodia because the town of Siem Reap is very close to the Angkor Wat temple and a whole bunch of other really majestic religious uh, sites. And uh, I was out one day with a tuk-tuk driver. If you haven't uh, traveled around Southern Asia, um, a tuk-tuk is like a three-wheeled sort of motorbike that uh, serves as a taxi in a lot of countries. I was out with this tuk-tuk driver. Uh, it was uh, me, the driver, my wife, Katina, and my mother-in-law, Gisela. And Gisela asked the driver, hey, what do you do at night? What do you do for fun when you're not working? The driver said, oh, I go to the beer garden. Well, in Siem Reap, there's a street. It's called Pub Street, and it is where all of the tourists go at night. It's a big party scene. They go there to drink beer and meet other travelers. It can be a lot of fun, but I had a feeling that that's not what he was talking about when he said the beer garden. I said, which beer garden? Well, tell me about this beer garden. It's, you're not talking about all the, the, the bars along Pub Street, are you? He said, oh, no, no, no. It's only Cambodians. It's, it's in a completely different neighborhood. I said, great. Will you please take me there tonight? So uh, my wife and I went, we hung out with the driver and a bunch of his friends. We ate some uh, frog in chili peppers and uh, drank some beer with them. And it was just a really fun night. 
If you are shy about meeting people, here's another line that will help open things up to you. Say this out loud, even if you haven't finished, even if you haven't gotten through all this, this course yet, repeat after me. Hi, I'm a travel writer. If you say that, it is a perfect lead into, and I couldn't help but noticing that you're doing something that I'm very curious about. This looks interesting to me. Could you please tell me a little bit more about it? Sometimes people are very open to talking, sometimes they won't be, uh, and that's okay. Then you just move on and you keep trying. But the more open you are to meeting people, the more stories you will stumble across. And if this is hard for you, also keep in mind that the more you do this, the more natural it becomes. So try to push past your shyness a little bit. I'm going to give you one final tip. This is one of my secret weapons for meeting people. I want to introduce you to my travel mascot, Sven Wondermoos. Uh, Sven Wondermoos has been traveling with me uh, for about 18 years now. He has been all over the world. He's been to five continents with me, and I take lots of pictures of Svenny when I am out traveling. Now, I don't walk around everywhere waving around my stuffed animal because, hey, that's a little weird at times, but uh, sometimes, you know, I'll be like taking a picture and people will see that I'm taking a picture of this delightful looking moose here and uh, ah, they're kind of amused and they'll, they'll snicker a little bit. If I see people noticing me and they're laughing, then I'll say hello to them. I will ask if I can take Sven's picture with them. It opens up all kinds of social avenues, as goofy as it sounds. So if you're a shy person, get yourself a travel mascot. Be conspicuous in taking photos. You'll feel a little goofy, but again, it will help you meet more people. The bottom line, put Svenny back on his ledge there. The bottom line is this. As children, we were all told, don't talk to strangers. That was very, very good advice for our parents to give us when we were young. But you know what? We are adults now, and we have a far better developed sense of when it's okay to talk to people and when it isn't. You will encounter people when you're, travel, when you're traveling who uh, are, are going to be a nuisance. Maybe they're trying to sell you stuff. Maybe they want to rip you off. Don't ever put yourself in a situation that feels dangerous. If there is any question in your mind, is this safe or isn't this safe? always err on the side of being safe. I don't want to encourage anyone to go out there and do something that's going to get them hurt or robbed or anything like that. But, you know, most of the people in the world are good people. And when you're traveling in an unusual place where you don't know your way around, people generally will help you. They're happy to chat with you. They are happy to tell you about their lives and they are interested in learning about yours. Ultimately, we are all our own favorite topic. So, as much as you can, push yourself a little bit, be an extrovert, talk to strangers. It will lead you into much richer travel experiences, and those experiences will translate into some amazing travel tales that you can write. So there you have it. I hope that that will help bring you some richer travel adventures and help you find bigger stories to write when you are out exploring the world. Once again, uh, the entire course is more than three hours long. It's also got online uh, classrooms and lots of bonus content as well. And you can find out all about it and also get some uh, big discount coupons on that and all of my online writing courses at globejotting.com classes. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Dave Fox with globejotting.com.